At the center, the heart of my work is trying to resituate uh, nature kind of back again at the core or the heart of culture. I think that uh, at some point, like other aspects of our relationship to the natural world, there's been a, a kind of a divide or a separation. And I was really interested in, again, making us contemplate how nature and culture and our lives are, are really one as opposed to these distinct things. And, uh, you know, in a nutshell, I guess the idea behind the work is that Paul Clay, 1914, went to North Africa uh, and had, as I guess some people would call it, an epiphany looking at the landscape of North Africa and Tunisia, the way the light, you know, played with the landscape. And that changed his way of working. And I just said, you know, if he was inspired by the landscape to make a painting, a cultural object, I want to take that cultural object and I want to take inspiration from it and just turn it back into the landscape. So that, that, that is basically the idea, is I'm going to take the painting and turn it back into a garden. Of course, it's a garden, it's not paint, so some might say it doesn't look at all like the painting, but uh, if you've read my comments about it, it's just the idea of uh, the texture, the colors of the flowers, and of course the, the colors of the leaves. A work that's very familiar to us and that we've done in different materials, uh, but it's the Great Lakes on a sort of scaffold billboard. It's positioned in the garden. It's meant to begin, what, what you see out there is very much meant to be, be the beginning of what we see as a kind of slow two-year course of work, where we just want to, um, uh, the first action that we took upon it was to, to see if we could get a, encourage a vine to grow on it, which we have achieved. And then uh, we'll start to do sort of seasonal work. So we talk a lot about like prepping the scaffold for the winter in the same way that you'd prep an olive tree for the winter. Um, so we might uh, stuff it with organic material or uh, we've talked about misting it so it ices over in a, in a proper way. So we just, it really much, it, it, it um, encapsulates kind of what we're about. It's not so much about the sculpture, it's about the sculpture as a kind of um, uh, scaffold that we can hang ideas on and hang a kind of informed play upon that we can hang uh, this never ending experiment. So that's sort of the purpose of the work. So we're hoping that um, it'll just keep changing over the, over the next few years. Well, some projects are very clear from the very beginning as well, exactly the form is going to be at the end, how it's going to look like. And um, in that project kind of evolved because the drift, driftwood is telling you what it, what it wants to do. It's shaped in particular form. It has to find its way into a form. You can't bend it. You can't force it. Like it's, it has its own life. Each of the pieces has its own character. And it, it invites to interact. It, it invites to go in there, to sit there, to be a part of it, to Everything will be fine is, uh, is an expression that can be understood in many different ways, many, many different ways. It can be encouraging, like if you have a child and your child is going on a journey, it's going maybe to university, going to another school, and you encourage your child and you tell your child, everything is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You are strong. You can do this. You have all that it takes to do this. You can do this. And we are with you. 